Okay, so this is probably going to be my last in today's sort of haul videos. Um, I went on vacation over spring break. Dale and I took the kids to um, California and we went to Sacramento to visit some of his family and then we went down to San Francisco from there. And even though I live in Oregon, I've never actually been to San Francisco. I've driven by it a lot, but I've never been to it. Um, so I was really excited. And one of the really neat things for me is that I've never been to a lot of places. I know I'm going to sound like such a um, country bumpkin here. But where I live, we don't yet have an Ulta. We don't yet have a Sephora. Um, we got a Mac recently when Macy's came to um, our area. Um, so even though we have the economy to support it, for whatever reason that I won't get into now, um, we don't have a lot of the bigger, like, the big, big chain stores. I mean, we have Walmart and, you know, Macy's and all that, but we don't have, like, the makeup supply stores or anything yet. Um, so I've never been to Ulta, Sephora, CCOs, blah, blah, blah. So, when we left Sacramento, um, one of the things that I wanted to do is stop at the outlets in Vacaville to go to the CCO, um, where I bought my first two MAC makeup products. I know, super exciting, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so the first one that I got is just a standard eyeshadow. It's called Blue Flame. I don't know if this has been discontinued or what, but it's just a shimmery, um, royal blue eyeshadow. Um, it's a Velux Pearl finish. Yeah. Um, and this is how it looks swatched. And it's just beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. Um, I haven't gotten the chance to use it yet, um, but I'm really excited about it. And I really, really, really like it. And it's my first black eyeshadow, so I'm stoked about that. Um, so the next one that I got is a brushed metal and it's like a cream eyeshadow. Um, and it's in the color Verdigris. Verdigris. However you say that. Um, it's just like green. Anyway. It's this. Sorry. I thought somebody was at my door. It's this sort of shimmery. Um, like forest moss green color. Anyway. It's really pretty. And it comes off really, really, really well pigmented. Um, I didn't realize, I'm going to make myself sound like an idiot here, I didn't realize at the, at the CCO um, that it was a cream product. It was really dried out there, and it comes across very similar to an eyeshadow. Um, it does crease, so I would really, really suggest setting it with a similar color or applying it relatively sparingly, maybe over the top of something else. I don't know. Um, it doesn't crease that bad. And look how, I mean, the color is just beautiful on this. Um, but I do know that some people have had some problems with creasing with them. So keep that in mind. Um, so then we got to San Francisco and um, I kind of went everywhere but didn't buy anything because frankly, um, when you've never been to a place like a Sephora or an Ulta, you don't know where to start. Um, so, we went to Ulta, and I actually only bought a couple of eyeshadows from the Ulta brand, and, um, I got a green one. This actually reminded me a lot of the Verdigris cream, and this is in, it's just the Ulta brand eyeshadow. This is the color Envy, and, um, I wiped off the green, but if you look, it's a very similar, similar color. It's not, it's not really, I mean, it's supposed to be shimmery. It looks shimmery. It's not that shimmery, so you sort of lose a little bit of that. But basically what it does is it sets that vertigris, um, it makes it not go anywhere without changing the color much. Um, so next is this one, and it's Plum Noir, um, and it's, and of course it's coming off blue on my camera. Anyway, it's a pretty purple color. It does have a blue kind of um, shape, shade to it, um, but it's got a lot of pink in it too. So I really, I thought it was going to be a really nice purple color. Um, I haven't really tried it with a base or anything, but it actually comes across. Let me see if I can do it on my other finger. It 
comes across kind of the color of a bruise, frankly, um, which is sad because I really, really, really love purple eyeshadow. And because I just put a big old hole in it, because I've got green eyes, it works really well with my eyes. But anyway, it just, I don't know, I haven't been able to make it work that well. Um, but the quality of the Ulta shadows is not not bad at all. I mean, it's definitely not like the Mac, but I think the, and I think they were like six dollars. So I think they were on sale too. So they weren't very expensive. So then I got um, the NYX jumbo pencils, and I got three colors. Um, I've had the jumbo pencil in milk, and I have the jumbo pencil in black bean. I ordered them off of eBay because, again, because I don't have any of these stores, you can't get NYX here. You can't get NYX in a, oh, I don't know, three-hour driving radius from me. Um, so I went ahead and got some colors this time around. And this one is called, it's number 615, it's Slate. And I actually thought this was Black Bean. I didn't pay that much attention. Because um, I didn't know there was a shimmery, dark gray color. Um, but, you know, it's kind of cool to have, actually. I really like this a lot for um, putting shimmery colors over it that you would normally think, oh, I should put a black base under it. It actually works really well without being as intense as the Black Bean. Um, so the next one I got is number 607, it's Horseradish, and it's, um, sort of a, I don't know, a grass green color. Um, and then the last one I got is 616, and it's in the color Pacific, and it's just sort of a, a basic blue. And here, let me just swatch these for you. Um, and I love these because they're just, I mean, they're the absolute perfect base for eyeshadow. You know, you'd think I was obsessed with green on this trip because I got a green eyeshadow, a green cream eyeshadow, and a green base. But the irony is I don't usually wear green. Anyway, so this is the Pacific right here. This is the horseradish, and then this is the slate. Um, and you can't really see the shimmer, but, you know, you get the idea. And usually you wouldn't wear them these heavy. It, anyway, you use them as a base to top with eyeshadow, which is what I've got going on here. Um, so anyway, so NYX eyeshadow pencils in milk. Got those from Ulta. Love them. Um, 